been a while since I've done this. Oh, this is a really weird angle. We're gonna get a mitten. Oh, that's weird too. Is this better? No. Not better, not better at all. Are you good? No, this is horrible. Well, hey there, it has been a while since I have been on the interwebs. And um, today, actually, wearing the same exact outfit, I asked on my Instagram to ask me questions because like, I legit don't know where to start. It has been over a year since I posted a video and I wanted to kind of get back into YouTube and I just didn't know where to start. So I asked you lovely people of Instagram to ask me questions just to like get a good starting off point and you guys had some really good questions and I kind of categorize them by type so a lot of people ask questions about YouTube questions about the house questions about my work questions about like family stuff and then like random things so let's start with YouTube let's just dive right in number one question is why did you leave YouTube or why was the absence so long? And also, was there a specific incident that made you leave? And the answer is, there was no specific instance that made me leave. Honestly, it was all work related. Not YouTube work, other work related. And I'll get into that later, but that is why I was gone. I was just incredibly busy um, working seven days a week for a very long time and I just could not dedicate time to both like I had to pick one or the other and my other job pays my bills and YouTube does not pay my bills at all I know a lot of people think that like oh these creators get so much money if they have a certain amount of subscribers and it doesn't necessarily work that way like sometimes it does but for me it doesn't I'm not motivated by the money I am motivated by sharing what I can when I clearly have the bandwidth for it and at that point in my time of my life I don't know big run on sentence <laughs> I did not so those were like the really big questions about YouTube also someone asked a really funny question I'm like reading down on my paper here it says uh, have I been filming but just not posting oh gosh you know what I wish but no I have not that would have been awesome <laughs> but again I just didn't have the time to dedicate to any of it no filming no posting no nothing and to be honest I rarely even watched YouTube at the time like I could hardly even you know dedicate any time to watching YouTube or anything <laughs> like it was it was it was crazy um anyway so now let's get into the work questions because we're just gonna do that I'm gonna switch my hands I'm like not used to this and like my back thing is open because um I have a new house and there's things that are gonna be going in my trunk in just a little bit so <clears throat> work questions did I change jobs Oh, yes I did. I no longer work for the company I worked for previously that had me working seven days a week. Yeah, there were some just very unfortunate incidences that happened after some management changes that I'm not really gonna speak on, but it was finally my I've had it moment. You know how some people are like, you know, you put up with so much crap when is enough enough? And I didn't, I hadn't hit that point until I hit that point. And I think a lot of you watching will probably understand what I'm saying, but I had finally just had it. And when you're feeling undervalued and not appreciated, it's time, it's time to go. It's time to go. So now I am in a new role at a different company, which is amazing. I actually know my boss. I've known her actually for several years and um, we have remained obviously friends. She told me about this great opportunity and it was actually working directly for her. And I'm like, well, I would like the opportunity to uh, apply for the role if you think I would be a good fit. And she's like, oh my gosh, I feel like you'd be an awesome fit. So we worked it out and I am now working for directly for her. So it is, 
It's a very good fit and I really, really like it. Um, also, someone asked, since I left YouTube for work, which clearly that person follows me on Instagram because that's where I've been posting anything, um, am I enjoying my work? Um, you know what, I really enjoyed my work before and I really enjoy my work now. So I enjoyed what I did at the previous company I worked for and I really enjoy what I do now. Um, the previous company I worked for, I, I honestly really loved the people that I worked with. It was just some not so awesome situations that I was put in made me really realize that I was no longer valued there. I would always be an individual that they would continue to take advantage of. And I was just done at that point. Someone also asked what industry I work in. So before, I mean, I've kind of like, I just say that I work in like building materials cause that's kind of what I do. So I've worked in building materials in one way or another for decades now. Um, I worked selling granite countertops or granite slabs for a very, very long time, all natural stone, as well as manufactured materials. And then the last company I worked for, we did all custom different things like railings, stages, platforming, things like that. Um, so yeah, like lots of stuff, lots of like stadiums and theaters, like that's like our main kind of bread and butter. And where I'm actually working now is I am a facilities and maintenance coordinator. So um, I help out other locations because this company that I'm working for has a ton of locations um, that need service to their location. So. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing now. So I, I really enjoy it. I've only been doing it since end of December is when I started here. Learning more every day. Learning more every day. <laughs> so those are kind of all the work related questions I'm going to answer because I'm trying to be PC about it. And uh, yeah. So let's get into more fun stuff. How's the family, right? So everybody had questions like, how's Doyle? How's favorite mama? How's favorite father? How's the favorite brother? So Doyle is doing good. He turned 15 back in January, so he is getting a whole lot older. And I mean, he's definitely slowing down. I mean, he slows down every year, but um, he's doing pretty good. He can't jump as high as he used to, which is like totally normal, but um, yeah, but he's he's doing good and um, you know, just living his senior dog life. And um, you guys will hopefully see him more in these videos as you know, much as I can share. So um, I'm excited to show you him in you know, future videos because he's always the star of the show. Um, how is the favorite mama? She's doing good, she's currently in Florida. Um, nothing big has really changed with her or my dad. And um, no big news to report, which is probably good, considering, you know, they're retired and you never know, like there could be like <laughs> big news, but there isn't. So, you know, every time I talk to them and I'm like, any, any good news out of Florida? And they're like, no, everything's pretty much the same. And I'm like, all right, well, no news is good news. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, uh, favorite brother's doing really good. He's actually out of town right now at some training. So he is furthering his military career and knowledge doing all of that and currently still living in Minnesota. So that's kind of the update on the favorite family. So yeah, let's get into the random questions. Cause I feel like the house stuff is like the most interesting to people. <laughs> um, but let's get into the random questions. So random question number one, did I plan while I was gone from YouTube? Sadly, no. Um, again, the time I just like at the end of the day, I just really didn't have the energy to do it. It planning honestly gave me or it still gives me like so much joy. A lot of the stuff I do every day is not using my creativity in a way. Like I, I want to use my creative juices, my creative brain, and I just I, I could never do that what I what I was doing before. Like what I'm doing now, actually, I can do it a little bit more, I guess. Um, sorry, my hair just looks like weird. <laughs> Sadly, I did not use a planner like at all while I was away. Um, I recently just kind of started planning again and I'll get into that in a second. Someone else asked what planner am I using? What planner am I loving? So what I'm currently using, so I have, I have a planner packed away 
that's a whole nother story that I will get into at some point. Um, I'll tell you guys like my whole house journey at some point in a video, I'm thinking, because it's dramatic. <laughs> um, but I have my planner, it's packed away, it's totally fine. However, I did get a, what are those called? Like the Erin Condren Daily Duos, um, like the two planners, the spiral bound ones for work because it was so much easier to like write down all my meetings even though I have it on a calendar, but I have so different, so many different like locations of what I do for work and like services that are coming into their centers like trying to organize all that in my brain to be like oh this one's going here and this one's going there and I need to follow up with them and make sure that service came out there or, like whatever um I needed something tangible to write down and those are like a full page for a day and I'm normally not that person like I tried a daily duo for like a hot second when it came out and I was just like this is not for me um but it's for me now because of just all the things I need to keep track of and then like scheduling stuff out and like the the job I previously had like I barely went to meetings which was great um but also like then I wasn't in the know on certain things but um my life now I'm in meetings all the time so that's just a different change for me and so it's kind of like keeping track of meetings and then like scheduling time by like with myself that I can focus on other things so yeah it's that's what I'm using and loving right now um so yeah, and then um, my other planner was just like the Erin Condren Hourly Neutral, I think. Like, the same thing I've been using for like ever, right? So this, this question's from Ryan from A Man With The Plans. I'm gonna link um, his channel down below. You guys should check him out for sure. And um, he says, are you and Ryan still dating? <laughs> <laughs> and are you guys gonna ever film another drunk cook with me? Um, Ryan, we're not dating. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not. I mean, maybe we are and I just don't know about it. We did go to dinner a few weeks ago. And we are getting on a plane together and getting a hotel room together tomorrow. Maybe we are dating. Just kidding. No. We're not dating, it's a joke. Um, but yes, I feel like we need to do a uh, drunk cook with me, bake with me, something, once I get my house set up, so. Um, plus I'll have a guest room and you can sleep over. Let's get into house stuff. That's a good segue into house stuff. Thanks for the question, Ryan. Okay, you guys, so many questions about the house stuff. Um, first question, is do I still have my original townhouse? Did I sell it? Is that now an investment property? Am I still living there? Like what? what's going on? So I don't have it anymore, I sold it. I sold it about a little over a month ago and um, I put it on the market and it sold in two days, less than two days and sold for over ask, which was amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was very, very happy about that. It's been a bit of a journey in the real estate market, but now I finally closed on this other house that now I'm going to live in. And um, there is some improvements and things like that need to be done, so those things are gonna be done in due time. But uh, I'm actually going on vacation tomorrow to go wild. It's it's, it's kind of a lot. So once I get back from Go Wild, it's gonna be all hands on deck, trying to just get some of these things done that need to be done. And I am gonna do a house tour for you guys. That was another question that was asked several times that you guys wanted me to give you a house tour. And I am going to give you an empty house tour and then I'll take you along on my journey of, you know, decorating or just showing you around whatever I don't know something uh, another question is when am I actually moving um, I'm not totally sure yet I think it's gonna take about a month or so especially with losing basically a week basically week week and a half it's probably gonna take about a month so I would say like April I'll be in there but I'm not totally sure on that yet 
And then will I be sharing house videos? Absolutely. I'll be sharing my process or as much as I can do at the time that I am, you know, filming them or whatever. So I'm very excited about that. There's lots of projects, guys. There's lots of projects. So am I still in Minnesota? Yes, I am still in Minnesota and I am closer to work. Um, my commute now will be about a 30 minute, 20, 30 minute drive. And right now I'm currently at about an hour or more. So yeah, it's gonna be really nice when it's all done. And then is the house larger or smaller than my last one? It's actually larger. And uh, will I share financials? Not on this house, honestly. I didn't do like I didn't do any of like the big prep stuff like I did in my last like mortgage video if you guys are interested in that I'm gonna link it um, somewhere like in a card or if I even remember how to do that um, or down below for you guys but um, I did like a huge financial breakdown of that house but for this one I honestly didn't do anything big and spectacular at all like I just rolled equity into this one so like it, it, it's not interesting at all so <laughs> yeah and then the biggest question is why why did I move why did I decide to sell my house and move so that's a very very good question that is uh needs a really good answer i wish it was more dramatic but honestly at the time when i bought my townhouse that you guys have all seen it was well it still is very far away from like the twin cities area like i said i'm i'm driving over an hour to get to work every day it was what i could afford at the time and i could not afford anything closer for what I wanted to spend, like what I was comfortable spending. I could, I get, I shouldn't say I couldn't afford it. I could afford it. I just didn't want to spend that kind of money closer to the city at the time. So I just waited and I'm glad I did. And you know, it was just time for me to move on. There was a lot of change happening in my life. Um, I was looking for a new job. Um, things were just going to shit at my other work. Like, I had just had it, so shit was hitting the fan in my brain. And I was like, you know what? I need a clean slate. Like, I need to just, you know, move on. Like, all the way on. And I did. And so it was just time, and I had been wanting to move for quite a while, but just never found the right opportunity or just never like got the gumption to do it and to be honest it's just me so like I just didn't ever have that like urge or pull from another person or another situation being like oh well we got to move because you know my kids going to school and I want them in a different school district or like whatever it just I never knew like when was the right time and I just thought if now is not the right time, I don't know when the right time is. So it's like, it was just time to just move the F on. So anyway, um, I'm really glad about the time I got to spend where I did. And I really enjoyed living there, but I feel like um, I'm going to enjoy my new place so much better. So yeah. Um, also other uh, quick, not quick questions, but just questions in general. Sorry, the sun's like hitting my face all funny now. People want just like a general life update. I feel like this is my general life update now. Uh, and then questions, how are you? Like, no, for real, how are you? There's been so many questions like that. Um, also mental health update. How am I doing with my mental health? And then what have I been doing with my time? So what I've been doing with my time is working, obviously. Um, mental health is so much better now that I don't work where I used to work. It was extremely toxic for me as an individual. And um, again, I have great friends that still work there and friends that have also moved on too. But um, I just, I couldn't do it any longer for me and my position and my specific situation. So I'm very happy for everybody else that's there and wish them continued success, but um, I had to move on for me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and the last question I'm going to end off with is going to be, how are you? Like, how are you really? And you know what? I'm really good. I'm really 
good. I'm doing so much better than I was before. Now that I've left that other job, I'm in a new position at a new job that actually values me and treats me like a real person. And, um, you know, other good things are happening. I finally closed on the house. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Like, there's a lot of change going on in my life, but I actually kind of like enjoy change. I don't know, most people hate it, but I kind of like it. So yeah, but no, I, I'm actually doing really, really good. Um, so yeah, but thanks for asking. So that's kind of it for the questions. These are the most commonly asked questions. There was a few other questions I got that were either a little too invasive or I think I answered some of them just like privately too. So if I didn't get to your question, I apologize. But that is my life update. I'm hoping to get this edited and uploaded tonight if possible. Like fingers crossed, I still remember how to edit. Like do I remember how to edit? I have no idea. But um, yeah, so that's kind of it. Um, gosh, I wish I would have like sat down and done this sooner, to be honest. Like it feels good to whip up the camera and say hey, but um, I'm hoping to share lots of content with you guys. Um, I'm gonna bring you to go wild with me. I'm going to go wild tomorrow. I'm so pumped. Um, you're gonna see a lot of updates on Instagram. That's like mainly where I'm gonna be. Um, social media links are always below for you guys. Hopefully I'll be able to do some other Go Wild related videos too after the fact. Um, I'm not sure what the internet connection is going to be like, so we'll see. But um, but yeah, I'm like really, really pumped to go on vacation. Anyway, I am going to go because I need to go to Menards. I was there yesterday and pick up stuff to go back there. You know what I'm saying? Home ownership, y'all, home ownership. So I need to go do that because I've got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. I'm gonna see you later. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you get notified when I post new videos, which obviously I haven't in a while, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.